Well, good morning, everybody. This is uh, part 16 of the van build, and today I'm going to be working on the bed. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, face frame around this here. And I was kind of thinking about this table situation and uh, the bed supports. And um, I haven't really figured out a good way of supporting the bed yet. And um, I was thinking about maybe using these stools. Um, they're exactly the right height. And when you lower this bed, it makes a very level, even, uh, strong support system for the bed. And um, to store this away after you're done sleeping, you put your straps across your mattress, set this back up. Of course, there won't be this little cheap twist lock here. There are going to be some big bolts that I'm going to put in. But... Um, then these stools would actually mount onto a bracket and store securely while the bus is going down the road. This particular stool, I modified it so it would have a back, so it would be a little more comfortable. I built a little bracket at the bottom, and there it is. A nice little curved back for it. Of course, I'd fancy these up and I would paint them a nice color earth tone of some sort, you know, to decorate with. It's got a little engraved back. But it's fairly comfortable to sit on now. And the other one I would just leave like it is. I would, you know, clean it up and paint it and make it look nice. And um, use it for maybe cooking stool or, you know, an accessory seat for, for when you're sitting at the table. But um, the table itself has just got a standard just got the standard base on it here see and I didn't want to screw that part of the base the lower part of the base to the floor because I'm gonna have rugs down here and I just didn't want to have to cut the rug or do anything like that but it doesn't have to be on the floor because that isn't what's going to be steadying it it's got these two brackets on here that hook into these and very easy to hook on it's real sturdy that's what's going to hold the table up see and when you're going down the road, that's not going to be right in there anyway. It's going to be stored up in the um, little area on the other side of the uh, bathroom. But to uh, lower the bed again, you just pull the seat off. Store the table. Of course, I'm going to put it back here for right now. Because I can't get up to the front right now. Undo your deadbolts. And drop the bed down. Yeah, I'd like some comments on this. I, you know, make sure I'm doing the right thing here. If um, I get some comments from people on this one, I'd appreciate it. So, well, onward today. I don't have the kitty here bugging me this morning, so I think I'm going to try to get something done. And um, I'll catch you guys in a minute. Well, hello, campers. It's been a rough day for me. Lots of things went haywire today. <laughs> Lots of things went haywire. Uh, I just don't know what to think about it now. Well, I've got this, the latches on, on both sides. I got the uh, face frame around the bed bottom. I built these little brackets here to level out the uh, um, pull slides here. Um, I've got the end boards on on both ends capping the end and the gap looks real nice and stuff but uh well I sure had a hard time today I am glad today's over it's the evening now and uh, I just don't know what to say about all of it I'll show you what I did so these pull back like this and the bed does come down as normal and there we go okay I put some uh boards back here and I got pins to lock this now these pins here aren't uh, they'll hold the bed up if a light person's on it even a probably a heavy person but I don't like the way it makes the cabinet sound when you get on them I hear a little bit of creaking um, but anyway there's the now this thing won't rock backwards if you get over center or over center on this side this won't rock backwards so the bed just solid as hell now those are hardwood pegs. 
And um, that's about as far as I got today. Um, anybody's got any questions or anything, go ahead and just uh, leave me a message and I'll answer it. But um, pretty much worn out today. So I'm going to have to see you guys tomorrow. Okay? Hey, after reviewing that uh, video, I didn't, I didn't really get to show you exactly what this was here. These are wooden dowels, see, and they're screwed through that board and it partially into that uh, shower wall. And uh, that just locks that in. Like I was saying before, this hinge here had a tendency if you got too much weight on this side it would flip inward toward the windows and you don't want to have that happen it'll get you trapped back there but anyway <laughs> I got another one on this side so I might as well you know finish this video proper and let you see what I did uh, I know I'm tired but that's that's not the point so and uh, there's the latch strikers, and I put that, that board right there on, and also the one on this side too. I've got to put a couple more screws in these. But, um, okay guys, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> I got pretty grumpy today, uh, so I was sitting out here trying to listen to a little music, and the cat ran off today because... <laughs> I was just too darn grumpy with him, you know, and uh, oh, man, it's funny. Well, guess who's back? Hey. Yeah, he come in and gave me a little attention. Now he's sitting there cleaning himself. Hey, friend till the end, I guess, huh? My rubes. My buddy. Yep. Good night, everyone.